Hey, this is Robert Manning Jr. from Alpha and Omega Productions, and I'm going to do a quick video, excuse the audio, um, about Tesla. And so I'm a year in of owning my Tesla. And, and recently, we had this thing coming up where Tesla announced that they're no longer um, offering premium connectivity for free in your car. And what that basically means is um, standard connectivity, as they call it, um, is just um, basic navigation and maps, so you don't get satellite maps. It doesn't include any of the um, the streaming media like music or podcasts. In the newer models, it doesn't include Netflix connectivity and and things of that nature. Um, but the point is, I you know a year ago I purchased a CPO Tesla, certified pre-owned Tesla, um, from Tesla. And um, this was never mentioned to me that um, premium connectivity, as they call it, was a trial. Um, never heard of it until they announced it. And then all of a sudden, um, a, a notification came up on the dashboard of the, the MCU, as they call it, of my Tesla. And it said that your premium connectivity trial will expire December 31st, 2019. And... Um, so the year, which is not a year trial, but um, so, and they said any um, pre-owned cars uh, purchased prior to a certain date were subject to this. Now, I'm in complete agreement that Tesla, if it's costing them too much money, because I know they have so many more cars on the road now that they can't sustain this kind of connectivity for all their cars, the S, the X, the, the Model 3, and then the Y and the pickup truck going forward. Um, so they would charge $10 a month. My issue with it and other people's um, issue with it was that we weren't informed of this. There was nothing in the contract saying there's a trial. And I would have been fine with it if they had said, hey, you know, hey, you get this trial and this is what comes with the trial. Um, I just assumed the car that I purchased was a car that I purchased. And now they were pulling away um, things that came with my car. So I contacted them and they sent me a form letter and I talked to some other owners and they sent them the same form letter saying blah, 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 the same thing. Um, standard connect connectivity will continue with your car and the only thing you're losing is audio streaming, which is my favorite thing about the car. I like the car itself, but my favorite thing and my kid's favorite thing in the car is the internet streaming. The fact that the music, I keep saying that, the music streaming, um, the fact that you can just... Um, say, play, you know, kids songs that pertain to sheep and it will play in the car, which is awesome. Um, so I was losing this. And so I contacted them again. I contacted their legal and resolution department saying, hey, I was never informed of this. And other owners have also said this. And the Model 3 owners were informed and other owners were informed, but anybody that purchased a, a pre-owned or CPO Tesla was never informed of any kind of trial. They said that it was in my contract. It was said it was on my, my deal sheet. And I'm just like, there's nothing there. So I sent this to them and they ignored me. So in the contract, it says you can go through arbitration. So I did it. I sent Tesla a letter of demand. This was about three weeks ago. And I said, hey, this is a letter of demand for arbitration. These are the reasons I'm asking for arbitration. I contacted the, the arbitrator and the company and started going through the process. All of a sudden, I get a phone call from Tesla saying, hey, sorry, um, we're not overlooking you. We're checking into this. Um, <laughs> then earlier today, I get a call and they say, hey, um, we're giving premium connectivity to your car for the lifetime of your vehicle for the lifetime of your vehicle. And I said, okay. And they said, okay. And then that was the end of the call. Um, then I get another message, uh, just probably a couple of hours ago saying, Hey, um, just letting you know that it's official. Um, and so I checked my Tesla account and it did say premium connectivity for the lifetime of the vehicle. Then somebody else, another owner, um, posted um, on a forum we were chatting on and said they changed their website saying all CPO or used vehicles purchased from Tesla prior to, I can't remember the exact date, but it, it'll be on this video. Um, but prior to um, 2020, um, 
will have premium connectivity for the lifetime of the vehicle. So what happened, obviously, was they didn't let any person or purchaser know of a pre-owned CPO, whatever you want to call it, Tesla vehicle, about this trial and premium versus standard connectivity. Um, so they had to backtrack. Um, what what kind of makes me angry is that I had to go through arbitration for them to contact me. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only one. And I'm not trying to say at all that I'm the one that got this ball rolling because I know other people contacted them. I know other people contacted legal and other people contacted resolutions. So the resolutions department at Tesla. Um, I'm just glad everybody did. And again, I agree that they have to make money going forward, not make money, but at least break even, not lose money with this connectivity package on all their cars. Um, but I also agree when a company sells you something that they can't take it away um, without informing the consumer. So that's all I wanted to post about. Um, and I really wanted to post if anybody has a, a CPO, a Tesla, or purchased one in the last um, year or two, um, call if, if your connectivity has been cut off call Tesla, email Tesla, and make sure that you get it turned back on. I think they're going to do it because they put it, they changed their website. And, you know, I'm glad they did it. I think they did the right thing. Um, and, and I also think they need to charge moving forward. And I think my next car will be a Tesla. Um, use the referral code. I don't know if I, I how, how do I put that up there? I don't know how to do that. Um, and, you know, if you're planning on purchasing a Tesla, I think it's a great car. Um, but again, I think a company should have to inform a consumer if they have a trial. Robert Manning Jr., Alpha and Omega Productions. See you later. Bye.